It's a folk song. It's not your usual folk song, though. It's a folk song um, um, where I've tried to put together um, some uh, tales of um, uh, 30 years ago when, um, when I worked on Skid Row in Los Angeles for a period of a, a decade or more. Um, it was a wonderful time. This song is not intended to be derogatory about anyone. It's um, kind of a little slice of life. Um, um, the main characters uh, do not resemble Susan and I. The, uh, <laughs> well, they kind of, they kind of. But um, you know what? It's, um, uh, I met a lot of wonderful people uh, working on Skid Row. It was a, it was a time when uh, I think it was about 40% of the folks on Skid Row in Los Angeles were Vietnam veterans. So they, they were like my people, you know, like I understood them my age. And uh, it's called The Ballad of Gimp Leg Bob and Big Leg Sue. They call him Gimp Leg Bob, Gimp Leg Bob. Wears a wooden leg, says he got it in the war. He hops around the city like an old bullfrog, that Gimp Leg Bob. Some nights he camps out near the five freeway, but he hangs around the nickel most every day. All the folks around here, they like that Gimp Leg Bob. A little hustle here, some panhandling there, sell a little cocaine down in Pershing Square. If you need a favor, Bob's the man for you. And Bob's a ladies' man, that much is true. And when he gets to talking, there ain't nothing they won't do. Yeah, he's still a player, that old gimp leg Bob. He's got a woman named a Big Leg Sue. She runs hot and cold, and that's okay with him too. Yeah, he likes her. He likes those Big Leg girls. Yeah, she got big legs. They're big and strong, like to crush a man to death if he hangs around too long. <laughs> but lots of the fellas around here, they like those Big Leg girls. And he's dressed just right He's looking for some action on a Saturday night He's sitting at the King Eddie bar Sees the girls as they walk by Comes a woman all dressed in blue Every guy did a double take when she walked through All the boys in the room thought those big legs looked mighty fine she saw the preacher, sized them up real fast, gave him quite a look. As she strolled slowly past, the preacher joined her quickly at a table in the back. She told him her name was Big Leg Sue. She arrived last night from Kalamazoo and was looking for a way to earn some money real fast. Heartbeat. He was under her spell. They booked a cheap room in the Rosalind Hotel. Preacher was having a last drink and pulling at his tie. But in the wink of an eye, she slipped him a Mickey, took all of his money, left him only with a hickey. All oh, that preacher came to, minus a wallet and a big leg girl. Yeah, she got good, big legs, they're big and strong. Like to crush a man to death if he hangs on too long. Lots of fellas round here, they like the big leg girl. Gimp Lake Bob was flushed with dough. He'd done a favor 
for a guy from Warriors, Mexico. Now he's strutting down to Cools for a French dip set, a sandwich, and a bottle of wine. And he sees Big Leg Sue out of the corner of his eye. And he says, hey, pretty lady, do you want to get high? She says, baby, you got the money, I got the time. And then Big Leg Bob declares to Big Leg Sue, you know, baby, you look a little blue. She says, none of your business, pal, lest you buy me a drink. After pouring down some liquor, he's under her spell, and they're headed, headed down to the Huntington Hotel, when from out of an alley steps that preacher man. Well, hold it, hold it. Now the preacher, he's coming, but big legs, she fast. She runs down the alley, but falls into some trash. And the preacher says, big legs, Sue, how do you do? He takes off his belt and commences to whipping. Big leg Sue is moaning and kicking. The preacher says, big leg girl, this is your judgment. His wooden leg swinging like a Louisville slugger. He sends the preacher's head out to deep center field. And Gimp Leg Bob screws his leg back on and he tells Big Leg, You better head downtown. I'll meet you at the Grey Dog Station. We gotta get out of here. Gives him a big kiss, says, boy, won't, don't you tell, and I need $50, by the way. Get my suitcase out of the hotel, then we'll be on our way, both of us down to New Orleans. And that's the last he's seen of Big Lake Sue. But he smiles when he thinks of her and everything she do. Lessons learned from a big hearted, big leg girl. Oh, oh that's it. That's it. Thanks for your patience with that song. And, and it, it's, a, it's a true story. <laughs>